Welcome back to Zero Sum Gaming here at the Culture Cache. This video is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. The idea comes to you courtesy of Harrison Young, and I mean that in more ways than one. He is a donor, and this is what he wants to see. So, much like assembling all seven Dragon Balls, wish granted. But it goes a little deeper than that. Uh, I'll let you make your own reference for that one. Harrison wrote a play called Online Fighting, and if you're a fan of this show, the odds are good that you'll also be a fan of his play. If you want to know more about the play as a whole, check out the companion article at theculturecache.com. A large part of the play revolves around the latest new video game, Super Duper Smash Fighters. I love that game! Full disclosure, I've actually written the fight choreography for this show before, so if I sound even nerdier than usual, you'll know why. Over the course of the show, we see many matches within the game unfold in front of us in real time. It's great, because while the in-game fighters are present, they actually manage to become the fourth wall. Lucas and Josh, the gamers of the play, are focusing on the exact same thing as the audience, the fight. Each fight actually comes across as its own tiny play within a play, and each is entertaining in its own right. Is Fire Pharaoh a just ruler? Why does Sonny Joe and Alabama Sam fight? And what makes comfortably dressed ninja's attire so damn comfy? These miniature episodes actually make me want to see the rest of the cast and settings of Super Duper Smash Fighters. Of course, these fights do not happen in a vacuum. Part of the fun and uniqueness of online fighting is the way the fights are interwoven into the larger story narrative. It reminds me of a thousand and one Tales of Arabian Nights, like how Scheherazade uses many smaller stories to tell her larger overarching story. Although no one is threatening to behead Josh or Lucas in this play, the words and actions of the in-game fighters are literally just as important as the words and actions of the gamers, even though the fighting game characters don't technically exist. Think of how taunts work in fighting games. You do one to harass or insult your opponents, possibly even to goad them into making a mistake. Now think of that times a thousand and one, and you know the framework for the matches you'll see in online fighting. This presents another fun opportunity on the acting front, characterization. These video game characters are defined fairly loosely, so actors and costumers have a lot of leeway in coming up with how they plan to portray their digital representations. Take a look at some of these different iterations of Bloodbath and you'll get the idea. Better yet, these are video game characters so you pretty much can't be too over the top. Video game characters often grunt, groan, or even scream when performing such mundane tasks as hopping over tiny potholes or climbing up a ladder, so whatever an actor chooses to do is likely well within the realm of possibility. The only ironclad rule is that the video game characters are avatars not only for the actors, but especially for Josh and Lucas. So long as that remains intact, the character will likely still make sense. A fun little exercise I did when I wrote the fights for the show was to use the classic Capcom six button layout to help define the fighters. I had each actor come up with a light, medium, and fierce punch, a light, medium, and fierce kick, and a throw. No, not all of these moves were used in the show, but it proved very useful in defining the mindset and fighting style for each of these characters. In a fight heavy show like this, you want the fights to look good. Each one of them is the focal point while it is happening, and if battles or fighters look weak, it undermines the entire show. It would be easy to either degrade the show into a first year acting class pageant, or go the other direction and have it come across as a high school wrestling match. This is why you want each fighter to have personality and remain plausible even in the fantasy video game world. Next, let's talk briefly about how to put the fights together. As someone with a martial arts background who dabbles in stage combat, I'm a firm believer in the cue, reaction, action principle. Or crap! The way it works is simple. The attacker cues up the next move. The defender acknowledges it and gives the appropriate reaction. Once the attacker sees the reaction, he knows the defender is ready, so he executes the attack. This bedrock principle of stage combat cannot be overstated. Simply put, it keeps your actors on the stage and out of the hospital. The dirty little secret to stage combat is that the person taking the move is doing most of the work. Take it slow 
until you know the choreography 110%. It will feel like you're moving in jello at times, but it's a necessary process to keep everyone happy and, more importantly, healthy, since many theater production companies don't have the best insurance policies. I'm going to shut up now and let you enjoy Act 1, Scene 1 of Online Fighting. If you like what you see, check out the links in the description for more information. Just consider this the demo version. And please, don't try this at home. Josh Lowell is online. Hey, didn't expect to see you here. Me either. I thought I had you blocked. Wait, you didn't have blocked me then? No, there must have been a glitch in the server. Oh. So what's up, Josh? Eh, not much, just trying to play my new game. Or what game? Super Duper Smash Fighters. Good game. I just beat it on expert mode. Yeah, I held off for a while, but everybody seems to love it. So, Lucas. Want to play a game? Uh, I don't know. I already have Woodstock Hero in my system. And I was... Oh, that's lame. Play with me. It'll be like old times. <laughs> sure. But you should know I'm pretty good, though. How good? I just won the Upper Central Southeastern Championship for the second time in a row. <laughs> so that's like the right half of Kentucky, right? See, this is why I tried to block you, Josh. No, it also covers parts of West Virginia. <laughs> wow, you must be real proud. Well, whatever, you're just jealous. <laughs> jealous? I'm just jealous your mom still buys your games. How do you? <laughs> How was your cashier last Christmas? Shouldn't you be asking Santa for a girlfriend this year? <laughs> Shouldn't you be trying to find a better job? Shouldn't you have a job? Look, good news for you though, there's going to be a cashier position available for you next week. What's the catch? I'll be your boss. Pass! Oh, come on, I'm trying to be nice! <laughs> How did you manage that anyway? Well, I told the higher-ups I needed a pay raise. First, they didn't think my super fine girlfriend was reason enough. Did you actually say that? Yes, I did. <laughs> and it almost worked, even before I brought up how impressive I've been lately. Did you know I sold one customer subscriptions to Tips and Tricks, Game Informer, Game Pro, PC Gamer, Electronic Gaming Monthly, and Game Revolution for each of his kids? Not only did I get an extra $2 an hour, they're looking to promote me to head manager as soon as they find somebody to fill the cashier position. Think about it, Lucas. Think of the discount you could give your mother. We both know she'll be buying you presents this Christmas, and that would save her money to buy you even more pizza rolls. She doesn't make pizza rolls anymore. Lay off. Hold on. Yeah, Mom? Hey, baby. Just letting you know I got some pizza rolls earlier. <laughs> Do you want pepperoni, cheese, or supreme? Ah, uh, let's go with supreme. I had cheese all last week. All right, baby. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> you there? Watching your diet lately? You heard me? Every word. I hate you. Reblocked. Wait! Now Josh Lowell has been reblocked. You shall be missed. <laughs> The game's gonna make you feel much better. If you think you can win. I would totally kick your ass. You haven't even played yet. So it's on? You'll block me now? Yeah. Now Josh Hall has been re-added. Hooray, friends. Alright, so you're gonna want to use Super Sorcerer. He's easy to practice your game on. I'm like your mother? I was thinking more like your super fine girlfriend. Mm, she's only easy with me. Better luck next time. But yeah, sure, I'll use him. I am Super Sorcerer. All right, I'll take it easy on you. Let's start with... Bloodbath! Bloodbath. Wow, so you have me as this nerdy mage while you have Bloodbath? Real fair, Lucas. It's just a warm-up. I don't even know the controls yet. What level do you want to fight on? Um, Ancient Ruins looks good. Perfect, my best level. What? Nothing. Are you ready for this? Yeah, let's go. Are the fighters ready? Fight! Hey, dude, stop spamming! What? You're just using the same move over and over again. Fine, let's try some other moves. Come on, Blood Bell! <laughs> Winner, baby. I put a spell on you. Uh, Two-time 
Upper Central Southeastern Champion to say? I already said that was a warm up spammer. Yeah, well, this spammer just took down a two time. Upper Shut Central up! Central. Didn't even hit me, it was a flawless victory. I know. You should just give me your championships. Wouldn't be the first time I've taken one from you. Never again, Josh. All right, so it's one to nothing. Are we going to play another game? Are we going to play another game? <laughs> yeah, we are. Fine. Let your ranking drop some more. What? Mighty Sword dropped four ranks. Your parents made a bad investment in your game. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be a warm up. I don't think the game cares. I don't think I care what you think. I don't care what you think while you're still living with your mother. I don't care about you, your job, your sales record, your apartment, your girlfriend. Do too. Do not. Do too. Do not. Whatever you say. I'm using Alabama Sam. I bust your thinking parts, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alabama Sam's actually pretty good. You also said you were pretty good. I also said I would totally kick your ass. Haven't yet. Just give me another chance. It's not over between us. <clears throat> Hold on. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> Who are you talking to, <laughs> Nobody. It's a game. Oh, I thought you were maybe talking to Anna. I haven't heard from her in a long time. What? No, Mom, we broke up in high school. All right, sorry, and, baby. And besides, I'm on my game's headset, not my phone, duh. All right, <laughs> sorry. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> All right, you still there? It's real cute how your mother talks to you like you're a 21-year-old child. I know what she needs. Don't care. She needs a real man around the house. Seriously, man, you need to leave my mom out of this. Seriously, man, you need to pick a character. All right, I got Sonny Joe. Let's make some waves. <laughs> All right, losers pick level. Let's do the construction site. Is that one hard? No harder than the rest, but you're going to want to learn some new moves so you don't spam so much. What's wrong with spamming anyway? It's honorless, man. You're just getting me into a corner and mashing buttons and clapping joysticks. There's a certain joy and respect to learning the more difficult moves so you can do more than high punches. So? So you know better. No, your technique hasn't gotten you anywhere yet. You're just mad because you can't stop the cheapest moving game. It's about the ethics. Oh, don't give me the honor treatment either. All is fair in love and war. Remember, <laughs> the spoils are for the winners only. Whatever. All right, ready, fight! Whoa! You should at least learn how to pose before we fight. During a match? Yeah, how do I do that? It's easy. Just hit up on your D-pad you'll do your pose. Roll Tide! If you like that? <laughs> if you like that, check your instruction manual for more moves. Oh, okay, thanks. Roll Tide! Nice. Roll Tide! Roll Tide! Yeah, hey, I was reading! You can't count that! I don't think the game cares. Oh, who's she now? Isn't everything fair in love and war? Fine, it all's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time. Your high punches are useless against my low kicks. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Oh, just stop. <laughs> fine, fine, no more spamming truths. Deal. <laughs> oh, cheap. Oh, what move is this? The Alabama hanger. Okay, I see. Oh, <laughs> what move is that? The Alabama slammer. Oh, I like that move. Come on, oh. I'm dying over here. Squeal for me. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the point, isn't it? Wait. Wait, is Sunny Joe hulking up? What you gonna do about it, brother? Right that way, bro. Oh, you take it easy, man. I didn't know you had all these moves. They're not hard to learn. Just look at your instruction manual. I wasn't until you started fighting without me. Keep looking, then, because what you're doing isn't helping. I'm blinded! Oh, you're mine now. Roll time. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Lag? Seriously? Oh, come on, my connection must be going bad or something. I, I, I can't do anything. I, I quit. Oh, I quit. Booyah! Hey, Tim, you can't even hang five. <laughs> Believe that lag. That makes up for how you beat me in the last battle. Spammy's part of the game, whether you like it or not. So is lag. Get over it. You're in no position to tell me to get over anything. If you've got something to say, Josh, just say it. I think you're jealous. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, Mom? I hear you all the way in my bedroom, son. Who are you talking to? Josh. Josh Harmony? Oh, that is great. Oh, I thought you two weren't talking anymore. <clears throat> You know, I miss when he would come over. He would eat even better than you sometimes.
sometimes. Well, tell him I said hello. Come on, Lucas. Tell me hello from your mother. Will you tell him I said hi? I will hi. later, Mom. All right. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. She is so amazing. I mean, it's too bad she won't date now that your dad's left the house or else like... Or else what? I will kill you, man. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm using seawater, Willie. Yar! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I don't have time for another match, so you better use your main guy. Why? Well, it's one to one. Whoever wins next breaks a tie and wins between us. I've got to go after that. Oh, yeah, go where? Oh, uh, to see my girlfriend. <laughs> All right, I want... Comfortably dressed ninja. <laughs> Classic. Ninjas versus pirates. You know it. Alright, what stage? Loser's pick, remember? Alright. What's this one like? Oh, the pirate ship? Come on, man. That's your character's main level. That's home field advantage. I lost last. I get to pick. I'm with the pirate ship. Fine, whatever. <laughs> Alright, now are we able to pose before a match starts? Yeah, you can even taunt in each other's face. Just hit A twice. Like this. Oh. You are a disgrace to family. <laughs> Yar, you soon know how it is to die alone. Huh, how appropriate. Oh, oh come on, oh, man, the match ain't oh, started yet. As now. Oh, oh. Get off me, you had nothing on me through one of your cheap shots. Ha ha, how does that feel, matey? Yeah, I would have some girlfriend. I don't believe that. How does anybody stand you? Ask your mother. <laughs> what? Seriously. Okay, then seriously, ask Anna. Ha ha ha. What? You heard me. You remember the National Video Game Tournament three years ago? I know you remember the slogan. The spoils are for... The winners only. I was able to use the prize money I won over you to move out. I sound like a third of it left in savings. Would you spend the rest on your girlfriend? What? Can't you even say her name now? Piece it together. You know who it is. Not Anna. Ha ha ha! Oh! Don't you remember her breaking up with you after the tournament? Or what you did that following night? Why do you think you haven't heard from either of us in so long? I spent $5,000 of that prize money on a diamond ring. That's a prize you heard by proposing a night at Applebee's. Applebee's was our place! <laughs> you think she still cares? I'm done talking. Time to be rid of you once and for all! No! If you think you can run all over me just because you beat me once years ago, or because you have your own savings account, or because you're proposing to my ex- Oh! Well, guess what? I don't care anymore. I'm gonna kill you like I should have three years ago. You can't even keep me blocked! You can't kill me. Watch me. I'll carve you into pieces, then defriend you forever. Josh today, and you will never believe what he told me. He, he told me he started cheating on you last month. Yeah, cheating with some other brunette. Her name was Sherry, uh, Shelly, no, Sally. Uh, you know, I, I really didn't hear the name all that well, 
But he was hardcore trolling me about being with you like I still have room to be upset about that. I mean, that was three years ago. And then he rambled on about how he could sex up anybody behind your back, including the Shuri And look, I know you probably don't want to believe me, but he also said he was going to propose to you tonight at Applebee's. <laughs> And I don't want to start any trouble, but that is so completely dishonest. And Look, if he doesn't meet you at Applebee's or propose, I'm really sorry. But if he does, Anna, I just don't want to see you get hurt. Uh, think about it, uh, all right? Uh, all right, bye. <laughs> 